year-old patient who uh, essentially had vein stripping in both legs in 1971 and this right leg you can see incisions here that are healed there's another one here these are about an inch inch and a half in diameter all the way up to the groin she's developed this corona flabectasia which is crowning of the veins around the ankle it's also called an ankle flare F-L-A-R-E um, she's presenting with a lot of symptoms including aching pain heaviness tiredness fatiguing itching burning and throbbing in the leg and what also is important in her clinical history is that she's had a deep vein clot in the common femoral vein uh, some years ago in uh, I would say more than 13 14 years ago and about nine years ago she had superficial vein thrombosis of the great saphenous vein and she has pictures because she has a complete medical record or I confirmed that we're going to do a Doppler study now and show the great saphenous vein first of all what I found is that the great saphenous vein is still there so whether or not she did have this great vein stripping uh, at least by ultra, ultrasound Doppler, you can see on this image in the lower thigh the great saphenous vein and as I go up you see some whitish calcification right there in this circle. I'll freeze it so you can see it better. This nodular type image with the white calcification and it is a chronically or calcified clot in the great saphenous vein. I'm going to unfreeze it and you can see it right here as well. I'll freeze it again and we'll split the image and we can see it here. Here it is. You can see some more calcification but this whole thing is the great saphenous vein and as I take it up you can see other areas where there's also calcification with the shadowing, acoustic shadowing and then we're taking it all the way up in the higher part of the thigh there's no calcium or there's no clots in it and then when we go up to the groin we will see this vein here joined the great saphenous or the, uh, I'm sorry the common femoral vein okay. here it is and when I turn the probe you can see that the vein is joining it right here and then we can put the Doppler probe right here stop the image but you can see that the direction of flow changed which is indicative of venous insufficiency when I mark it with the cursor markers you can see up here that it's above six seconds of reflux so she has clinically significant venous insufficiency